Okay, I want to do a quick video lesson on relations in SOLIDWORKS. Relations are essentially characteristics that we can add to entities on the, in our drawing area or re, uh, relationships or characteristics that will be shared between multiple entities either within the same sketch or even in two different sketches. So I'm going to start off by just creating a sketch on my front plane and I'll start off with just a simple line. I'll go ahead and I'll just kind of draw this line at a random length for now and we'll start off by just adding a simple relation to this single entity. I'll select the entity and you'll see over my design tree now I have line properties and we have existing relations box. The existing relations box is empty right now because I haven't really added any characteristics to this. If I look down, I have a add relations box and listed are going to be all the relations that I could go ahead and add to this entity. For example, if I click horizontal, you'll see that this line snaps to a horizontal position and I get this little green horizontal icon. Icons like this next to entities indicate that a relation has been added to them. I can delete a relation by going into my line properties, selecting the relation, and hitting delete. I could add a vertical relation to this, and you'll see that this part is now, or this entity is now vertical. If I wanted to fix this in a specific location, I could go ahead and do that as well. So I'm just going to kind of rotate this down a little bit. And what I want to do is I'm going to add a second line. So first I'm going to click this line and I will make it horizontal. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go to Smart Dimension and I will give this a distance. I'll just call it an even 5 inches. And I'm going to add a secondary line to this sketch now. Go ahead and I'll just drop it in there. Now I said that relations can exist between multiple entities. So if I select my first line, hold down the control key and select my second line, you see that both of these now are selected. They're turned blue. My selected entities box is populated with line one and line two. And I have an existing relations box now. And you see I have some different options here. I have horizontal, vertical, collinear, which means falling on a single line, perpendicular, parallel, and equal. Notice that all these relations stem from common geometric terms, horizontal, vertical, perpendicular, parallel. Let's try using parallel right now. So I'm going to go into existing relations, and I'm just going to select parallel. You see that the lines snap parallel to one another. The parallel relation um, icon shows up. Now this first line is also horizontal, so you notice that to satisfy all the relations, this line snaps to horizontal in order to be parallel with our first line. If I wanted lines to be equal in length, I can click on the equal relation. And now this line will be equal to this line. Now it's going to always be end up being equal to the smart dimension line because I've defined this line as 5 inches long. This line will automatically be 5 inches long. So relations are things that you can quickly use to um, get the features that you wish to from your, um, from your drawings. I can go ahead and delete this. Let's take a look at circles. I'm just going to drop a circle on my screen here and I will take and just drop another one on there. If I want these two circles to share a center point, I can select both of them and now I have existing relations. Notice I have some different terms here. I have equal, I could make them the same size. Tangent, I could make the two circles tangent to one another. Or we have a what's called concentric. Concentric means sharing the same center. So if I have two circles selected or two circular objects, 
could doesn't have to be a circle it could just be a partial circle or an arc I can click concentric and they will automatically share a center point so very works very very well again for um, ensuring that we have relationships among entities that are necessary I'm going to show you how this works on objects between sketches as well if I create a line and I'll just drop a line in here and if I exit this sketch now and let's say for instance I wish to use this line as a pathway for a circle to follow right, which is an operation called sweeping that we'll get to in another lesson if I start a new sketch and start a sketch. It's asking me to select a plane. Notice that um, none of my planes have shown up. If I click my little plus icon here in my drawing area, I'm going to pick the right plane this time. because I actually want to draw my circle perpendicular on a plane perpendicular to this line. So I'll go normal to the front and I'm going to just drop a circle in here. If I wish for this circle, its center point, to fall on the end point of this line, what I can do is I can select the center point of the circle and the end point of this line. My existing relations box will show up. If it didn't, I could always go to display or delete relations right here. And I can now add a coincident. Coincident means sharing the same axis. So if I click coincident, that snorkel, circle will snap to the end point of that line. And I can now use this to make that circle follow along that line using a sweep command. But that will be saved for another lesson. So in summary, relations are characteristics that we can add to single or multiple entities. And oftentimes they stem from geometric terms such as tangency, horizontal, collinear, coincident, and concentric.